Hello friends. Welcome to the second video of PV series. Let's continue our discussions with Amrita and focus of this discussion is reporting of adverse effects of medicines. So Amrita, in the previous video, we spoke about the adverse effect of medicines. Now, what should we do when we come across an adverse effect of a medicine? Ideally, we should report. Okay. There are approved pharmacovigilance centers where you can report the medicinal adverse effects. Mm -hmm. Now, these centers may include hospitals, academic institutions, or some independent facilities. For reporting, we can use online forms, mobile applications, emails, or even toll-free numbers. Okay. So, while reporting an adverse effect, what all information is required for the reporting to be considered valid? Well, that's an important question. A valid report should satisfy the minimum safety information criteria, which includes four basic information. Okay. These are an identifiable source, that is reporter, mm -hmm. an identifiable patient who suffered from adverse reaction, mm -hmm. name of the suspected product, which may have caused the adverse effect, and the last one is the description of the suspected reaction. Okay. So let's understand this through a hypothetical example. A child is suffering from stomach ache. Her mother gives her medicine, let's say it is drug A. Okay. Which is a known medicine for stomach ache. After a couple of hours of taking medicine, skin rashes appear on the child's body. Mm -hmm. Mother suspects that this is an adverse reaction which has occurred due to intake of drug A. And she decides to report this adverse reaction. Okay. So here mother is the identified reporter. Mm -hmm. Child is identified patient. Suspected product is drug A. Mm -hmm. And suspected reaction is rashes on the body. Okay. It's, it's quite clear after this example. Just to add to this, the MSI details, that is minimum safety information details, are also helpful in case of follow-up with the reporter and in avoiding duplications of reports. Okay. So, um, I have another question. Yes. What if people do not report adverse effects? Let me answer this question through some survey numbers, which I have gathered from FDA studies. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this slide. These numbers are indicators of impact of medicinal adverse effects. So, okay, let me read it out. 7% of overall hospital admissions happen due to serious adverse effects of medicines. Yes. And uh, also medicinal adverse effects are the fourth leading cause of death. True. Impact is huge. Yes, it is. Mm. And uh, uh, there is a clear social angle related to this. Not reporting medicinal adverse effects will surely have a negative impact on public health. Definitely, yes, you are right. You can see that treatment of adverse effect caused by a medicine is an additional cost to healthcare. Right. On an ethical note, it is not right to hide an information which can be harmful to others. Absolutely. And lastly, more reporting can be helpful in collection of more information related to a drug molecule, which leads oh. to safer and more effective use of medicine. Very true. Very true. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you. Friends. This brings us to the end of our second video of PV series. In the next video, we shall discuss the scope of pharmacovigilance. Thanks for watching.